Hello guys, Pavel Oskarov with you here again. It's lesson number eight, video number eight of creating the learning management system with Laravel 5.4. In today's lesson, we will take care of lesson view. So here we have a course page and here we have a link to the lesson, which doesn't lead anywhere yet. So let's create a route and controller and view for that. So we start with probably view. Here's our view for the course, so we just, that's my way of doing uh, copy and pasting. I just save as another view, so lesson blade, and then I open that lesson blade, and I change things like lesson title. What other fields we have here? Lessons, lessons, short text and full text. So we need a full text here. Lesson full text and for now yeah I don't think we need anything anything else here right so that would be a simple lesson blade for that we will create a route really similar to the course route so it will be lesson slug and then lessons controller and lessons show and then same thing with controller, we save as courses controller into lessons controller. Did it work? Lessons. Okay. Maybe it did work. Um, lessons controller. Okay, good. Uh, we renamed that to lessons controller. Uh, we need this one. Lesson where so slack. We don't need that first, and then view lesson with compact lesson. And this variable should be lesson as well. And the final thing is in our course blade where we have lesson list, we need to change that uh, that link. Actually, provide the link. So route lessons show, and then lesson slug. I think that would work. Right, let's refresh our page here. And we should have links slash lesson slash something. Let's click that. And yes, we have our lesson pretty much okay. I'm just thinking whether we have paragraphs here. So let's quick LMS login. Let's change some paragraphs and see if we actually have paragraphs here. So lessons. Oops, I'm on the so let's oops, I'm on the edit short text and full text. Okay, let's add another paragraph here and click update. Let's see here. Yes, that's what I was afraid of. Uh, so here we need to do this thing. No. Except for showing just the text, we need to do this. And then we have good paragraphs. Actually, we don't need to even be here because it will be inside of the lesson. Right, okay, so now we have a lesson view here. What do what else do we need to do? Now we need to add links to previous lesson and next lesson. So there are multiple ways to do that, and I will just uh, query the database for uh, previous lesson, for example. This lesson where course ID equals lesson course ID. So lessons for the same course where position 
is less than current position, uh, but order by position descending. Okay, I'll format that a little better. Order that and first. And same with next lesson, but with uh, different calculations. So next lesson is same course, position is bigger than current position, order by position ascending, and then first. And we add that to variables here, previous lesson, next lesson. Okay, and let's go to the lesson view. And here we have, so if, if previous lesson, then and if hmm, previous lesson title, and the link will be to route lesson show previous lesson. Slug. And the same with, actually, let's put it in paragraph here. And if there's next lesson, we will link to the next lesson as well. So next lesson slug and next lesson title with different arrows here. Right, let's try it out. Refresh our lesson page. Right, so there is one lesson which is next. Uh, let's check that out. We have lessons for course ID 5 from what I remember. In order by position. Position is a random thing now. So currently we have this with position 3 published and the next one should be with position 4. So A is tempera. It's a faker thing. So let's click that one. We have that lesson and now we have links to the previous lesson and to the next lesson. Mm, right, let's go all the way to the end and we'll see if the last lesson will show you, will show us the next one. There should be six lessons in total. Right, yeah, so that's the lesson number six, more requires here. And uh, yeah, there is a link only to the previous lesson. So that all works for us. And final thing what I want to do in this video is to use that sidebar, which we didn't touch at all previously, to list all the lessons for the course, so people would be able to navigate through them and click next and previous lesson, or any lesson. For that, in our home blade, there is this thing, sidebar, which is static, we didn't change that. And let's uh, put it as a yield variable as well yield sidebar uh, and like that so currently in lesson blade we have a section main and we'll have a section sidebar and section for now let's make it static and let's refresh the page if that works at all Okay, no error, so we'll have the same static theme. Uh, in Lessons Controller, uh, let's, let's query all the lessons. Lessons, and actually let's copy that from Course Controller. We have that query already. Um, actually, we need a course here. Course, so next lesson and the whole course. We just change that thing to uh, to be honest we need only that find by actually thinking about it do we even need a course I'm changing my mind here but that's the thing of shooting live video let's try a thing like this for each lesson course published lessons as lesson actually I don't need this thing 
um, and for each. Let's see if it throws an error or not. It doesn't. So we don't any anything changed in, in controller. We already have lesson with course with published lessons here. So we have a lesson title and route lessons show with parameter lesson slab. Like it is. Um, Right, and let's change shop name to lesson course title. Yeah, we have all the lessons, and the final thing I would add here is a loop iteration. So number of lessons, the position. Mm, no, not here. I guess it should be inside of the link here. Okay. And we're good. Let's click a few lessons here. Actually, let's put one more thing here. If, if lesson... You know, we have an error here is the list lesson. We cannot use the same variable because it's used later. If list lesson ID equals lesson ID um, and if um, blah 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 here okay we add class strong. I don't remember how it's in Bootstrap, so I'll just I'll just add it in line CSS here. All right. So if there is a if it is a current lesson, it will be bold. So ipsum. Then we have this one. Then we have this one, and so on. Um, yeah. So we're good for this lesson. Now we can view the lesson, and in the next video, I will. Uh, shoot the process of actually registering for the course, paying for the course, and accessing. I hope it will be in one video, maybe it will be separated in separate ones, in several, we'll see how it goes. So, see you in the next videos of creating quick LMS.